A high profile custody battle continues tonight in Tampa. A judge ruled to keep a three year old in the custody of the state because his parents are refusing chemotherapy. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford is just back from the courthouse. And Liz, these parents, despite that ruling, are not giving up. Yeah, well, this fight is really far from over. Last month, Noah McAdams was diagnosed with leuke leukemia. After receiving one round of chemotherapy, his parents decided they wanted to seek alternative treatment. That's when Child Protective Services stepped in, took custody of the little one, and mandated chemo. Right now, Noah McAdams is at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. During today's hearing, the judge ruled to keep Noah in the custody of the state, but he's allowed to stay with his maternal grandparents. Noah's parents were permitted visitation rights as long as Noah continues to follow hospital protocol. Now keep in mind this all started because Noah did not show up for chemo earlier this week. His parents took him to Kentucky looking for alternative treatment. Police found him there and turned him over to Child Protective Services. Now Noah's parents are hoping a second opinion will persuade the judge to give them back their son and let them make their own we medical decisions. The, situation. the judge did allow us the right to a second opinion, which we're going to do. We know a second opinion. We know the situation. And this doctor is going to come in and testify for us. He's already said he would take over treatment of this child and, and make sure that this child is cared for and not neglected in any way. Now, the parents haven't seen Noah since Tuesday. They told me they've been nervous wrecks and were planning to see him right away now that they have visitation rights. Keep in mind, the law says the state has the right to provide medical treatment to a child in a life or death scenario, even if the parents disagree. The judge will rule on whether or not the parents must continue with chemo once she hears from another doctor that hearing has not yet been scheduled, could be as early as tomorrow.